What's up guys? Welcome back to another Team Soma Circus live video. Today we're going to go over snake eyes combo videos. So this is going to be the combo video for that snake eye deck profile I was giving you the other day. This is going to be one of the best decks of the next coming format. So I wanted to make sure that people knew how to play with it as well as against it. Um, so before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Want to see more content like this? We did hit 5k. You know we are going to be doing the giveaway. It's supposed to be yesterday, but now we're going to be doing it next week. because Sneak peek got kind of canceled. So uh, yeah. Before we dive in, if you like, comment, subscribe, let me know in the comment section down below what other combos you guys know, or if you want to see anything else, maybe some test hands. But we're going to start off with a one-card Snake Eye Ash combo. So I'll be probably showing off like four or five combos in this video. So we're going to start off with a Snake Eyes Ash. This is going to be the only card, let's say you bought Hand Rip for four, you're playing against Dark World, and you top deck this. So you're going to normal summon up Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash can let you search your deck for a copy of Populous. Populous then has the ability to special summon himself out. Activate the effect. You can search for a few things. You know, you can search for a copy of Origins, but in this case, we're going to be searching for a copy of Divine Temple. So Divine Temple has a really cool effect that lets you play around Nibiru a lot of the times by activating this. It's going to be placing the copy of Flambridge into the Spell and Trap card zone. Now we can take the Populous here, or Poplar, my bad, Link Away into a Link Repo. Poplar effect, which is in the graveyard, by the way, is going to activate to place some spell in the Spell and Trap card zone. Now we can activate the effect of Ash, sending itself and the Poplar to go for a copy of the Oak from the deck. We're going to summon everything out in the fence that we can because Fire King is a deck now and they obviously they're going to beat over stuff and then trigger the cards. So it's very important for you to be able to put these in the fence position whenever you can. Obviously you can have Link positions, monster, Link monsters in the fence position. So here we're going to activate, or the effect of Oak is going to activate on summon to bring back either your copy of Populous or Ash. It does not make a difference here. So we're going to summon out the Poplar here. And then we're going to activate the effect of Ash sending itself and the Poplar going for a copy of Flamebridge Dragon. Once again, should be in defense. Here, we can then link away both of these for a copy of IP Mascarena. Flamebridge will activate its effect, summoning back out two bodies. Once again, it does not matter, just have to be level one bodies. We're going to summon them out here. Probably not in the zones of IP Mascarena. And then on this, we will be linking away for a copy of the Prominent Princess. Prominent Princess is one of the new monsters from the new set, just like Populous. This effect is going to be able to bring it back out. We're going to see this card everywhere, so definitely make sure you know what this card is. Activate the effect, bringing out the copy of Flamberge. Flamberge can then activate its effects, placing the IP Masquerina that is in our graveyard into the Spell and Trap card zone. There's actually two things that are really important about this. It does kind of play around Dark Ruler No More, which is why Dark Ruler No More is not that good. And then here you can link away. You could go for a copy of um, Sunlight Wolf. We're going to actually link away for a copy of Amber Whale. So the reason why we're going to link away for a copy of Amber Whale is because we don't want Prominent Princess on the field because it's going to be able to not able. It's going to let us not able to summon out the IP Masquerina, which is very important for this combo. So you want to have it in the graveyard, and then obviously if something is summoned, we can then pop with uh, Princess, destroying the Amber Whale, summoning it out. The Amber Whale can activate its effects, blow up a card on the field. Um, it's like, all right, I, just, I guess this is going to special summon out. There's not much special summon out, but you will get a free body, which is Link Rebo, but I'll be showing that off in a second here. So we're going to link away for the Amber Whale here and then pass turn. So all off of one copy of Snake Eye Ash, we now have successfully resolved a card that lets us play around Nibiru, because if we did get Nib, we would have special summoned this out. This would have been prior to the Flame Bird summon. Like, yes, I guess you can get hit with Nibiru, but in that case, you'll still have the Prominent Princess and other cards as well to be able to combo off. And then, like, you just save this for their special summon out. And then when they summon out during your turn, you just summon this out. And then you get to play kind of through that as well when this dies, summons up bodies. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But so here, when you ever want to, let's say they start off and they summon out uh, a copy of whatever. You can then activate the Flame Bird, summon out the copy of IP Mascarena. And then depending on what ends up happening here, and you can go link away for a copy of SP. And then we're going to see the Flame Bird effect as well as SP effect that can happen, which can summon out two more bodies here. Um, we can actually go for the Oak as well. And then Oak, Chain Link, let's say Chain Link 1 Poplar, Chain Link 2 Oak, bring this out. And then you can search for your copy of the Snake Eye Ash. Ash effect can actually searching for a copy of Jet Synchron. And then you still have the princess, which can then blow this up. Uh, it can summon itself out. And then we're going to be seeing 
I guess we probably activate the SP Little Knight first. Um, try to walk boards out. Or you can even just go, like, destroy an Poplar. Keeping the Ash on the field. Then they were only summoning this out. And then Poplar will be able to set itself once again. Um, so then you have, like, two cards in hand. But you have extremely good follow-up. You have an SP Little Knight that can tag out into whatever you really want to. You have an Amber Whale that can get destroyed by Prominent Princess. Bringing back out the I I IP here. Which, obviously, is going to be really good. Or you could go for a copy of like a two or three mat Appalooza and still have your lines and you can bring back out your Oak and then your Populous. Then Oak can bring back out this Ash. You get to have your three negate Appalooza. And then you get to get your searches. You have Populous and the Spawn Trap card zone. You guys know the gist. You know, lots of advantage. That's all off of a one card combo. Now for the second combo, this is going to be the most popular combo. You guys have seen this probably on a bunch of different channels as well. Um, this is like the most very standard, like your big board combo. Uh, this is going to get you like your your Omni Negate, the place through Nib, you're also going to have your Savage, you're also going to have your, well, you're going to have Savage, that lets you play through Nib, you're going to have your Baron, as well as a three, or four mat Appalooza, two cards added to hand, a draw plus, um, or an SP, you know, either your choice of four mat Appalooza or an SP, either up to you, um, the only difference is this does not have the Princess line in it, this is going to be the IP line, uh, which is really cool, there's also different variations, like this deck rewards you so much, if you know so much about your deck, um, you know, if you get hit with, like, a low-impact hand drop at the wrong time, you're able to, like, change your board completely, which is really nice. But it's going to be the two-card uh, combo here. So we're going to go draw phase, activate Wanted. Uh, Wanted is going to let us search for a copy of Thia Bellstar. So we now have played around Droll to a bit. This is also just to access, like, if we didn't have that and we just had a Thia Bellstar and Snake Eye Ash. We're going to then normal summon up the Snake Eye Ash, activate the effect. It's going to search for Popular. Poplar. Popular can then activate the effect, such as himself out, and then there's going to activate the effect. So due to us already having Diabellstar, which has access to the Origins, we actually have to search here for a copy of the Divine Temple. If you already have the Divine Temple, you can search for anything else that you really want to. Um, but we're going to be searching for this here, which is going to be really important. The next step is going to be us activating this, which is going to be placing the Flame Bridge once again in the Spell and Trap card zone. This is going to be your main way to play through Nibiru, um, if they do Nibiru at the wrong time. And if they don't, then... Uh, like, they're on pair with Nibiru with another card, which is why Nibiru is not that impactful right now, which is why we're going to see a lot more main decking of Drolls, which could hurt the deck a lot. Um, we're going to be linking away for a copy of the Link Karibo. Poplar is going to then spell and trap card itself. Here we then activate the effect of Diabellstar, sending the Poplar to summon herself out. And then we're going to activate her effect to set the Origins. So here we can then go for... Origins sent the Link Karibo to summon out the Jet Synchron. And then we can actually link away or synchro away the Jet Synchron as well as the copy. I should mention that's in the graveyard. We could synchro away for a copy of Savage. Savage will then equip the Link Karibo. So if you guys have watched a deck profile, you guys will know that Savage actually has the effect that it's going to gain a counter. So this is going to be at one counter currently. And it's going to gain half the attack that this has. So now we can activate the effect of Ash sending itself and the Link Rebo. Now, this is still going to have the counter, which is going to be what gives it the negate, but it will lose the attack boost that the Link Rebo is going to give. Oh no, I lost 150. So we're going to activate the Snake Eye Ash, which is going to summon out an Oak from the deck. Oak can then activate the effect, bringing back out the copy of Snake Eye Ash, or the Populous does not matter which. We're then going to activate the effect, you sending itself and the copy of Flame Bridge here to go for the second copy of Flame Bridge. So the reason why we're doing this is because we are protected from the Bureau already. If they have Imperm Nib, they're just better than us, and they're still going to have to play through a board a bit, but they would have had a better little combo, you know, Imperm earlier or Nib earlier, and then save this for uh, whatever you want here. But we're going to see the effect of Flame Bridge activating, summoning out the copy of the Oak, as well as the Jet Synchron. So we do have all five of our zones. This is also all going to be in the graveyard. We do have all five of our zones now taken up. So we are going to have the Synchro Summon using the Jet Synchron as well as the Ash to go for the copy of Formula. Formula then is going to activate the effect, letting us draw a card. We drew into an Ash Blossom. Look at us go. So we now have one unknown out of the three other cards that we had in hand already. You know, we could have had Hand Traps, you know, at Hand Trapped our opponent, whatever you want. But we do get that unknown card. And then here we can actually link away for a copy of the IP Mascarena. Flame Bird's effect can activate or putting the Formula Synchro onto the Spawn Trap card zone. 
And then with this, we can just pass turn on that. During our opponent's turn, we can then either go Flame Bridge effect, summon back out the formula, or whenever this happens, we can actually activate the effect, summon this out. You don't get the draw because it's only one at Synchro Summon, but you will be able to activate the effect here. Synchroing these two away for a copy of Baron. Probably not in the middle column, you know, we don't want to get hit with the anima. We're then going to see the Flame Bridge effect when activate, summoning back out the copy of Oak, as well as the Ash. And then we're going to get the effect of both of these. So you can go chain link one, chain link two here. We're going to be searching for another copy of the oak. And then this is going to bring back out the copy of poplar. You can go for the jet as well if you really want to, but there's no need. And then poplar effects can activate, searching us for the snake eye chase. You could go for another card that you really want, but like I just want to go for snake eye chase. I do enjoy this card, which is why I'm playing it. Um, you could go for another copy of origins if you wanted to, uh, but you don't necessarily really need to. So now you have all three cards, and you still have your IP, which can just go right into a copy of the format Appalooza. Or if you wanted to, you can go for an SP and leave the bodies on the field. And of course, when this leaves the field, it's going to scale itself as well. So really important to note that you can either go for a format Appalooza, which is going to be leaving this on the field, or you can go for the SP and then like do this so up to you personally you know i do think that obviously the appalooza line is going to be better but if they do have like some boards that they can make or you're not playing a heavy combo deck um the appalooza may not be as useful you're gonna have to draw one and then obviously your search two with your popular spell and trap card zone and what's also really important is you have the wanted as well as the central spoils here so you can actually like banish put back to the deck if you wanted to like if you were running out of cards you could put back like the ash or the populace yourself search and then you can also go wanted put this back then to draw additional cards so you're essentially getting a plus two for turn for turn as well as a search which is really nice um that's going to be it for the two card combo now we're going to be going into some of the other cards combos i guess so this is going to be the how to play through roll um which is why this deck is going to be so powerful so we saw how the other deck the other i guess combo really played kind of through nib you always had your flame bridge and the spell and trap cards on with the divine temple to let you play through but it's going to be how to play through it with ash which is the important part because you know it is going to hurt let's say if you open up a bonfire instead obviously you know if you activate bonfire you search for this you're going to get hit with it you're done and you, know, you can't activate the effect search for poplar anymore um, so it's going to be just the ash combo playing through droll you're going to normal summon ash activate the effect search populace on res you're going to go chain link one popular your opponent's going to go yeah that's not happening Draw and lockbird so now you can put something out the popular you can't activate the effect because you're under droll you're going to link away for a copy of the link repo now a lot of players are not doing this because they don't want to uh, have like a dark engrave um, and they also want to put popular i think that link repo in this area here is extremely important it helps you play through another copy like imperm a lot of times like they have Joel, Joel Lockbird Imperm. Yes, it does, you know, play into a lot more stuff and it does put like an extra, you know, normal summon, but if they have Droll and Nib, what else are they gonna do? Like, I just feel like it's not really needed as well as also using an extra body. So we're gonna go uh, Poplar Effect, Spell and Trap Card Zone itself. Activate the Ash in the itself and the Link Karibo here to go for the copy of the Oak. Oak and then activate the effect to bring back out the Snake Eye Ash. And this is important because you know, if you draw, try to get it impermed, you can uh, you can dodge it by tributing itself off. You are going to lose the effect, unfortunately, to Link 2. It's like, that's why people are like, oh, well, what's the point? You know, if you get hit with imperm, you just tag it out. Um, but, like, you're still going to bodies, and I guess you can then go into, like, um, an SP Little Knight. You can still do some stuff. I just find that it's, like, it's going to be better that way. We're going to bring out the Ash. Activate Snake Eye Oak Effect. Send itself plus the Poplar. To go for the flame bridge here we're going to link these two away for a copy of ip mascarina flame bridge effect going to activate here bringing out the oak and the poplar it doesn't matter which one i guess we're going ash and poplar and then we get to link these two away into our copy of the promian princess princess has the effect that's going to be able to summon itself out which is going to be the number one this is the card you want to imperm they're going to summon out the copy of Flame Bridge. Flame Bridge is then going to be able to put the IP Masquerade in the Spell and Trap card zone. Once again, you're going to link these two off for a copy of the Ambuil. Because you want to be able to summon out your non-dark, I guess your non-fire here. Then during your opponent's turn, you will be able to put summon out the IP Masquerade with the Flame Bridge. 
and then you have many options you can play here. So the reason also why I wanna feel like you have to link away for Link Rebo, so let's like play this out a little bit here. So we're gonna activate the effect, linking away. We're gonna link all three of these. We're gonna go for a copy of Appalooza. Appalooza is going to be at three materials here. We then get to activate the effect of Flame Bridge to summon back out. We're gonna summon out a copy of the Poplar as well as the Oak, or I guess here we can go for Ash and Oak. So you're gonna go chain link one, chain link two. This is second turn, so now we don't have that anymore in a rotation. And then we get to search. We're gonna search for a copy of the oak from our deck, and oak's going to reborn out the poplar. Poplar can then activate its effects to be able to search for a copy of Divine Temple or the Origins. Completely up to you. I feel like in this case you probably want to search for the origin. You don't have any other axe just in the cards. And then if your opponent really does anything, you can still have the Premium Princess um, to tag itself out, destroying a card. And then obviously you can go Amber Whale as effect as well. Um, but like, let's say you end up like negating this or you summon up like a Fenrir. You negate some kind of monster effect, you go down the two. So what's really cool with this is that you can actually tribute off, let's say they summon up whatever they want to. They want to be able to threaten the Appalooza. In the battle phase, you can actually go battle phase and like, okay, battle phase are going to activate Poplar. We're going to activate the Link Rebo, tributing off Poplar, summoning itself out. Then you're going to be able to protect, as well as Poplar going to be activating the effect, placing the, the Flame Bridge in the Spell and Trap Card Zone. And now you have like another form of interruption, and you're protecting your Appalooza. And now they're in battle phase, so it's like that's not really great for them. Obviously, they're going to turn out to attack, you're going to turn out to zero, and they're going to need another body to be able to activate the effects. And it's like helps you just get more stuff like that as well, get the ball rolling, which is why I think that Learn Career was just a very important part um, to this combo. This is going to be another one card combo. It's going to make our Ash combo. We're going to then get into the two card combo there, um, which is going to be like the biggest combo that we have. But this is going to be just like a different kind of board if you want to be doing something else. Or just, I want to show you guys what other options you can do rather than like the whole Divine Temple or the Origins. So we're going to start off with the Snake Eye Ash. We're going to get to search for a copy of Poplar. Poplar is going to out. And as you guys already know, we already know what happens when you add one of these. We already know what happens when you add one of these. So this time we're going to add something completely different. We're going to add a copy of Dramatic Chase. So this is going to be your bridge for Snake Eye Populace to the Diabell Star. Your Snake Eyes, I guess, your, your Sinful Spoil Snake Eyes card. This is going to essentially get your combos going to be going live. It also gets you an Omni Negate, which is really cool, like a Red Dragon Archfiend. It makes you play the deck a little bit more like Rika for you guys players who are into Rika. Um, I guess we're going to be doing that. We're going to link away for a copy of Link Rebo. Popular is going to go in Spawn Trap Card Zone. This is very, very, very popular. No joke intended there. Then we're going to go Snake Eye Ash effects and Link Rebo as well as itself to go for a copy of the Oak. Oak effects going to reborn out the copy of the Ash. Oak plus Poplar going to go for Flame Bridge. Here we can then link two away for a copy of SP. We're going to see the effect here once again of the Flame Bridge. Summoning out both of those. Important that you know that it has to summon out two. It does not target. So if your opponent is like a DD Crow, you can summon out the other one that it does not target here, which is really nice. Now we're going to link away for a copy of Princess. Princess is going to activate its effects. Going to be summoning out the Flame Bridge. Flame Bridge effect can activate. Putting the IP Masquerade into the Spell and Trap Card Zone. Linking away those two for a copy of the Amble Whale. And once again, we have many different interruptions. But here we can actually go activate Dramatic Chase. Summon out the copy of Diabell Star. Then Diabell Star can activate the effect. And instead of setting the Origins, we can actually set a copy of Silvera. So this card reads as following. Send one Diabellstar monster from your hand at the field to the graveyard. Then target one card your while on the field. Negate the effects. Um, and then when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your Diabellstar monster effect or your Sinful Spoil Spells and Trap effects or activations, you can banish this card from the graveyard and negate that opponent's effect. Um, so this is going to be banished during the end phase. Summon it to self out. Uh, and this gets activated, setting this. And so now you have Premian Princess as well as Amber Whale. A very nice card. You have an Omni Negate, which also sends Diabellstar. Then during your opponent's turn, a lot of people don't realize this, that if Diabellstar is actually sent from the field, it's going to activate its own effects here, which then sums itself out, and I believe it just makes you send a card. Yeah. So you have to send one card from the graveyard. This was a one-card combo, so we're going to send a random card. It's going to be the Ash Blossom here. And then we're going to summon out the Diabellstar. Then Diabellstar will activate her effect and get you to set a copy of 
you either wanted or a copy of the origins, depending on what you really have. So you have an Omni Negate, you obviously have your IP Masquerade or summing itself out. You can then go for like a Link 4, whatever you want to really use. You can go for your copy of SP Little Knights, then SP Little Knights are your IP. Whatever you really want to choose here, you have like a Link 4 here. Let's go for a copy of Appalooza. Flame Merge effects can activate once again here. Summoning out a Poplar as well as the Oak. Oak effects going to activate, summoning out the copy of Ash. Ash is going to activate its effects, searching for a copy of Oak. Now, the reason why we're always searching for the Oak here is because this card will get you any of the other ones. So if you search for a copy of Ash, you don't have search again. Uh, when this gets linked away or whatever else you want, you know, if you have a copy of Origin set, you get to be able to activate the effects, whatever you want here. But once again, we're protecting ourselves from the battle phase because then you can just go Poplar, going to go for the copy of the Link Rebo. And then Poplar will be able to spell and trap card the Flame Bridge here or itself, depending on what you really want. Um, but then you have your protection negate for the Appalooza, which is really, really nice for us uh, here. And of course, you have the Oak, which can reborn out whatever you want, reborning out the Ash, reborn out the Poplar, Poplar, then another search. Now you have lots of options you can do. I also forgot to mention that you will get another search. So you probably set the Origins, or you, yeah, you probably set the Wanted here. Then when summoning out the Poplar, you're going to be able to search for a copy of the Origins there. So then you have like these two in the hand. You have a wanted. You have a, your draw set up. You have everything that you ever need. You still have your princess to destroy the Amber Whale, which can summon itself out. And then Amber Whale can summon out. Unfortunately, you will have princess on the field, so you won't be able to summon out anything that's not a fire. Um, but obviously, you could go for some Sunlight Wolf lines as well if you wanted to. Uh, there's lots of different options you guys can do. I just wanted to show you guys um, a few of the combos and different variations of the combo. This deck works a lot like Adamantipator and Rika, if you guys ever played it, like kind of like a mixture of both. Um, but really cool is like this card is absolutely insane in the next format. And of course, Flamberge. This card reminds me so much of Block Dragon. Free my boy Block. Um, but like a lot of times you have like so many cards you can just do that just spam at your board. You know, it is very minimalistic, but also gets you like a bunch of interruptions, which is really nice. And that was all with like one card, two card combos as well. So we saw in the combos already how to play through Droll with one card Ash, how to play through Nibiru pretty safely with the Ash boss, as, or the Ash as well. Um, there's lots of different variations that you can play. Like this deck reminds me a lot of, um, like I was saying before, I, I'm, I'm doing these in different segments, so I might just be repeating myself. But we're gonna be doing test hands and we're not gonna play through the combos necessarily, unless they're like different lines, but I'll be explaining to you like what the good part is. But the, what's amazing with this deck is that the ability to play second as well, um, like we're going to be going in, we see a bonfire, a copy of Bell, Flame Burge, Origins, and the last card is going to be a Diabell Star. So unfortunately for us, we are opening up a lot of um, engine cards, but our engine's really powerful as well, so it's really nice. You know, if we do get to hit with a Talents, we aren't going to put a Fire in Grave, which is really nice for us as well. And like, they're going to have to decide what they're going to put back. If they have Droll, they're definitely going to hit the Bonfire. If they don't, you know, we do have the Origin, which is really nice. It is an Extender. Flame Bridge is probably one of the worst cards to have in our hand, but it is also fine because we will have like a Dive Bell Star send. Um, and then obviously, I if we have like different ways of doing it, we can summon this out here. Um, and if that's from the hand as well, it will trigger. So if we play it correctly, we will like be able to play through our stuff. And if we are going second, we are going to be seeing an Ash Blossom for turn, which is never bad as well. Um, so yeah, so essentially, like you have obviously your Poplar or your Ash, depending on how bad you want to play around Roll. Um, I don't think that it really matters if you play around Droll with this. You get Ash. Ash, it gets hit with Droll. You don't get to do very much. You already have the Origin, so it doesn't really matter. Problem is, you won't get your second copy of Flame Bridge. Um, but you can get like, Link Away for Link Freebo, activate this effect, um, get the copy of uh, Jet Synchron. Like, so let's, uh, yeah, let's play it out here. So we do draw the Ash return. You're going to activate Bonfire. You're going to search for your copy of Ash. Let's say you get hit with the good old Droll and Lockbird. That's fine. Normal summon Ash. Can't act with the effect, which is kind of, kind of bad. And then you're going to be linking away for a copy of the Link Rebo. Here, we're going to activate the effect of the Origins. You could just activate Origins and get rid of the Ash right away, but I want to get the Link Rebo in the Graveyard, and that's going to summon out from the deck the Jet Synchron. 
You could also go for the copy of, um, of Oak, but chances are you won't be able to find a way to get to Jet Synchron, so that's the reason why. And then you can actually activate, uh, you can tribute this off to someone out here. Then you can activate the Diabelster, sending it's, you don't activate, you just do it. Sending the Flame Bird to summon herself out. She's gonna activate her effect to be able to set. In this case, I might actually, instead of setting Wanted, I might just set this instead, because her hand's not gonna be that great, so having an Omni is pretty nice. Then you will be summoning out these two here. You can then go for, oh, well, we have a Link Karibo on the field. So we have to find a way to get rid of that. So we are going to link away these two here for a copy of IP Mascarena. Then going to go for this into a Boral Savage. Savage effects going to activate putting the Link Karibo in the Spell and Trap card zone here giving us that one monster negate. Here we can actually act for the effect, getting rid of the card. If we already use that bell, we can get rid of the ash. Does not matter. Summoning itself out. We can then link away. This will get banished, important to note. I am like high, kind of hiding, I guess, the extra deck here, my bad, or the graveyard. Princess can then activate the effect, bringing out the copy of Flame Bird. Flame Bird can then put the IP Mascarena into the spell and trap card zone. And all of a sudden you now have, uh, I guess you're kind of stuck because you can't really summon out this here, but uh, you know, you can link away if you wanted to for your copy of this. And then I guess people will be like, okay, well he has something. Or instead of going for that, you can go for a copy of like, um, of all, you also don't have this anymore. What am I even thinking? I guess you go for a copy instead of this, you can set and go wanted. Um, you can go for many different lines. Like there's lots you can do. Instead of maybe going for a IP, you can go for the copy of, uh, of this instead. And then you get to add back a fire and you summon like there's lots of op yeah you probably go like this instead instead of going for ip you go for this i guess you can't go link creepo then hmm there's definitely different ways like you can just play through it a lot um and have different like, combos i did kind of lose myself there but it also like all depends on what you're playing against and like what you're playing through I'm just speeding through it. So we're gonna try it again and I'll be explaining it. Hopefully not screwing up the combo, but like there's just lots of different options you guys can have. That was a really bad example showing. So I do apologize. So we're gonna have Call for the Grave one for one, Snake Eyes Oak, Poplar, and then Flame Burge. Kind of unfortunate we drew into Poplar, but that is what it is. One for one is there as a second copy of Origin, which is really nice. And we drew into the Flame Burge once again. You know, we have no going second cards. This is absolutely horrible. Our top deck is going to be copy of Diabell Star. So we're just opening up all engine in our complete non-engine deck. I think we're running Triple Ash, Triple Valor, or Triple Ash, Triple Imperm, Triple Bell, Triple Droll. So like, we're on 12 hand traps, which is really, really full, to be honest. So we should be opening up some more of that, but we can play through a couple of the cards. Going first, that hand is pretty nutty as well. I guess I need someone here to cut my deck. The deck definitely does change a lot with like, yeah, so this is definitely like a hand that you'll be opening up a lot. Um, so you have your triple hand traps. Obviously you wanna use this first. Be wary when you are activating Ash because your opponent can have Hita. Um, but like this is just a generally good hand. Um, you, you also have the Snake Eye Ash to summon out, the Diabellstar, I guess. Um, in the spell and trap card zone, and then you can banish it or hand phase and summon itself out. There's lots of options you can do with this, um, but like just, just generically good. And then going second, you have also one for one. Just having that like bonus extra card. If like if you haven't used a hand trap or you want to keep your ash blossom because you're like, definitely horrified they're going to heat to you, 
you know, imperm Veiler is pretty nice. You can, even if you get like, you imperm, they have continue else, you go Veiler, then they activate like, let's say talents, draw two, you ash it. Um, they're gonna have to have like a lot more after those cards. Uh, you probably want to rip, but it, it is what it is. There's lots of options you can do. I'll be showing off one more test hand, and that's probably going to be it, concluding the video there. If you guys have any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll make sure to answer it. Um, you know, this is going to just be me doing day one testing with the cards in my hand. Oak, Wanted, Ash, Bell, and Valor. So we have... Actually, we are playing 15-hand draft, but we have the triple Valor here, too. Holy... You know, when we open up all engine, it feels really weird. So our top deck, who we're in second, was going to be a Droll and Mockbird. That was an Imperm accidentally, and my bad. So not the best top deck in the world, but, you know, we're going first. We have Draw Phase, Wanted, kind of play around a bit. You know, then you have your standard Ash plus Diabell Star combo, plus an Oaken Hand, which is really nice. Why we play double it. I don't really feel like Birch is that crazy. I want to have, like, that secondary copy of Oak in case I do have it in my hand. Or just be able to normal summon it and then get like the extenders mid game, which just feels absolutely amazing to me, which is really nice. But hope you guys did enjoy watching the video. If you guys want to see some more combo videos, or if I will want to see like Fire King uh, version of this deck as well, it is something I'm testing out. Um, I am really enjoying the different options that you guys can make with the deck. But I definitely think you guys should give this deck a try and get ready to see it everywhere. Don't forget to stay safe. If you guys watch, enjoyed watching the video, hit that thumbs up button as well as stay safe. Peace.